the Pittsburgh Riverhounds to break down. And DCFC will have to find a way this afternoon. The whistle sounds, and we are underway here at Keyword Stadium. Neil Rule, John Krieger with you. Here, the all-time leader for University of Michigan with 91 matches played during his college career. 19 MLS draft. Mixing bowl moves around. Steinwasher came off the line, and it was headed just over top of the bar. I believe that was Patrick Hogan. I think you kind of nailed it, partner, when you said Pittsburgh. I almost get the feeling they're laying in wait. Now that seemed to be the scenario. Now with Detroit City FC with Le Jolt. And now you've played it all the way back to Steinwasher. City had possession 35 yards from goal. Had to play it all the way back to Steinwasher to try to restart things. The thing that's been remarka remarkable about Nate as a player is his ability to move up through the ranks. City are going to get a a free kick here. Ability to move up through the ranks. He was an amateur here, went over to play in Sweden, came back, and has grown with the leagues. Nice job by Jope to draw the foul there. Maxi Rodriguez runs up. Drives it over top, connects with Michael Bryant. His cross on Mumensa. Headed back up towards the six, Matty Lewis to Michael Bryant! It's right in front and cleared off the line. What a chance for Detroit City FC. Goal mouth gaping right there on the doorstep in the six yard box. So Detroit City FC asking the most intense question of the afternoon so far. Beautiful ball to the side. Great way to beat the Pittsburgh press. Redirected across. Nice hitting angle. Oh, if that had gotten through to Detroit City, there was a player waiting to tap it home. And a Pittsburgh Riverhound defender with a bicycle kick clearance to keep it out of the goal. Ibarra's cross nearly got through. Rovira. To the top of the D, and that shot blasted over top of the crossbar. And that was to clear it off the line, and then Pittsburgh the other way puts one to the top of the D and then puts it over the bar. That one actually, I think, got caught up in the wind a little bit and rode quickly up. Michael Bryan with that opportunity. A couple goals on the season for the man from California. By the way, haven't done so yet. Want to say hi to all of our listeners today, not viewers on Sirius XMFC. As we go out into the satellite radio verse. Oh, and this will be a booking to Dominic Gasso. With it. And two working against Maxi Rodriguez. And two, the cross, and it comes free. Ibarra steps back. Ibarra. Curls it. Steinwasher, what a save! And it's headed over top of the goal. Amazing. Nate Steinwasher just put this team and these fans on his back to keep this game scoreless. Point blank, right at his head. Reese Williams. And the foul will be called Reese Williams on the ground. It's a very good look at being USL Championship Coach of the Year, you would think. Maxi Rodriguez pings it in, and that's over the top, but I believe another corner. Directed away. It's about time for Stephen Carroll to get in the mix with one of these corners, don't you think? I do. Ball sent in. Carroll over the top, and it's headed off the side of the net. Prophetic, Mike. partner. So close. Some of the fans thought it was in, just in the side knitted. But how many times can the Riverhounds go to that well before they pay the price? This portion of the match brought to you by Boab Fair. City have had the majority of chances in this half. And now Dequa with the touch. Boy, well done by Michael Bryant. Great anticipation. Stayed with it, stayed in the play, didn't over pursue or go to try to mark a man. Got caught up in traffic. Ibarra again lets it go. Matt Lewis stopped that one. 
Oh, and Ibarra's down, and he gets the whistle, and this will be dangerous. And Maxi Rodriguez is getting a booking, I think, for descent here. And Robbie Mertz lining things up. Robbie Mertz runs up, gives it a lash, and bangs it off the post. Let's see if Steinwasher gets a piece of this. Nope. Sometimes, folks, I'd rather be lucky than good. Boy, City running with the devil right now. For Detroit City FC, here we go. 73rd minute, nil-nil the score. If you're just joining us, everything on the line. Dequa was looking to party right there. And that is the final whistle, so Detroit City FC stays alive with the nil-nil draw against the Pittsburgh Riverhounds.